Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, back on the bridge here. We are back with another theme build. This time we're back on the Sovereign, but the theme behind this build is Surgical Strikes. So I pulled out the first, I believe the first Sovereign variation T6 that came out, which is the Intel Assault Cruiser. Now I call this the USS Strike for two reasons. One, big shout out to one of our huge supporters here, Strike, AKA Rob, love you bro. And we're also using Surgical Strikes with this build. One of the reasons being is what comes to mind is the battle between the Sovereign and the Scimitar, especially when it was rotating upside down to fire phasers on the Scimitar. It just felt really like short Surgical Strikes with its phasers so that's what the whole premise of this build and this is just again a theme build just to see how it does just for fun so what we're going to do is go over the weapons space set consoles traits doffs stations and then take into the argala and see how it does so here we go so for the four weapons here we have three phaser beams all we roll to crit DM damage times three with the pen mod. And then we have a photon here as well, the prolonged engaged photon torpedo. The reason for this is during the fight, you do see the Enterprise E firing photons. So we're going to keep that look because a lot of this type of theme builds I do is for the looks. But you did also see it fire quantum torpedoes, but we'll get to that in a bit here. Deflector, nothing too different. The Elite Fleet Intervention intervention Proto Matter Deflector from your Colony World. Your prevailing innovative impulse engines, which is from your competitive rep. Elite Fleet Plasma Integrated Warp Core. This is from your star, uh, your star base fleet. And then your Tilly's Review Pending Modified Shield, which is from your Discovery Rep. And the reason why we want to still use this is because of the hull capacity, which feeds into the trait Tyler's Duality. It also says here, your weapon attacks cause enemy shields to receive 11.5 increased damage for 10 seconds. So we want to try to increase that damage to the shields to bring them down a lot faster. Aft weapons, we have the same beams as the four. Three of those. Again, crit DM and damage times three with the pen mod. And then just a photon torpedo launcher, crit DM damage four, because we did see the Enterprise fire photons from the aft. And you captains know I love firing photons from the aft. Devices, Kobayashi Maru, your red matter capacitor your energy amplifier or energy weapon candy for the plus 20% bonus energy damage for 20 seconds. Subspace field modulator just for some defense rating. Consoles here are a little different because we're going energy he weapon heavy. We got our bioneural infusion circuits from the low buy store. The domino console, which gives us plus 15% phaser damage Plus 20 ACK rating, but this also gives us some haste. And then it extends kills for 10 seconds and gives us bonus damage. So it's a very, very good console. This comes from the Bajoran Interceptor. Very, very good console. You can get your hands on it. The Dynamic Power Distributor Module comes from the Atlas Lockbox Ship for all its goodies. Of course, the Defense, the Oh Crap button the plus 90 percent direct and energy weapon damage we are still pairing that up with the point defense bombardment warhead for some projectile damage increase but also the two piece gives us plus 33 phaser damage which is not that bad nothing to sneeze at uh, mla phaser lance for the plus 15.8 phaser damage and shield pen now we can also in our mind, use this as like a beam, a one shot beam overload type deal. And then this console, the weaponized Heliotorsion, this comes from one of the versions of the Crossfield, I believe. 
which gives you plus 15 percent phaser damage plus 15 percent crit severity so we're going to use that this time we don't use this console a lot so why not try to use it this is where my quantums come into play so it's opening salvo captains you know i love this console this comes from the titan this is going to help us to get the shields down so that we can again hit them with our beam overload and or surgical strikes we have the Lorca's Custom Fire Controls, which is the from your Discovery Rep. The goodies that it gives there. And then two Vulnerability Locators for the plus 39.4 Phaser Damage and plus 2% Crit Chance, which is from your Fleet Spire. Stat-wise, this does give us almost 40% crit chance and then 191.2 crits of air before buffs. For our traits, go over here, we have a good day to die, superior beam training, self-modulating fire, beam barrage, fragment of AI tech, inspirational leader, unconventional systems, Terran targeting systems, intelligence agent attache, Boimler effect, Starship Traits, Emergency Weapon Cycle, Universal Designs, Overpowered and Overgunned, Preferential Targeting, and the Best Diplomat. Now, the Preferential Targeting is important because after we use Can Scatter Volley, this gives us 100% damage to our Beam Overload. So that's going to help us a little bit here. And our Space Rep, nothing too different. We got Precision, Advanced Targeting Systems, Magnified Firepower, Enhanced Armor Pen, and Tiles Duality. Active Space Reputation here, we have our Anti-Time Entitlement Singularity, Biomelector Shield Generator, Force Challenge, Tethered Non... Bionic? Asteroid? Yeah, I know how to read. Refracting Tetrion Cascade. Now for stations, we're gonna go left, right, top to bottom. We got Tractor Beam. Scramble sensors, and here's kind of the main th theme for the build here, the surgical strikes. Distributed targeting, cannon scatter volley two, 1, beam overload 3, and we are putting a torp spread in there. Engineering team to clear, uh, to, to just again for heals. Emit unstable warp bubble, eject warp plasma, directed energy modulation 3. I don't use this a lot, so I thought I'd use it here. For 30 seconds, we get... Uh, some good buffs there. Structural Integrity Collapse for debuff and Emergency Powered Weapons 2. For our doofs, we have Energy Weapons Officer here. Chance for Beam Overload to cause all attacks against the target to gain 30% shield pen. We use that. Projectile Weapons Officer upon firing projectiles gives us a chance for additional crit severity. And then two en more energy weapons officer as when we fire energy weapons are going to give us plus crit chance and plus crit severity. Delreen for the increased damage when we hit uh, when we go fuse the Borg. And 3847 and of course we still have our two ground offs helping us in space. Which is Neil Falconer again increased damage versus Borg and Elder Malikitan for increased damage versus all. So there she is, a uh, huge shout out to the captains here chilling with me under Earth, Anthony Taylor, Nori, and Necron. After uh, we do our Elite Argala, we'll be back and we'll do our space views like we do every night here on Twitch. So we'll go take it through an Elite Argala first and see how she does. And again, usually these builds, Captains, when I do them, they're just for fun. There's nothing, there's not, you know, they're not going to be their best DPS builds. No, this is just for fun. Again, that's why they're called theme builds. Or you have a thought that you want to build out. Why not experiment it? Try it out. Okay, here we go. Let's take on the Benthans again. Get some more beam damage there. see how we do here take that out 
Ooh. I always love beam overload. And I have to make sure that I use surgical strikes here. Get some photons going here. Save opening salvo for the next group. There you go. There's the first group. We're going to use our opening salvo against this next group here and you fully buff up. Looks like our fight got them to notice us. Let's go over and ask if their boss might come out of hiding. I do love hearing all those beam overloads. Not gonna lie. Keep concentrating fire on individual ships. Separate them and whittle down their numbers. We will not go. Okay, in group. Surgical strikes on this, just cuz. comes in the beam overloads. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't sound good. Some more damage here, surgical. Ooh, nest group can get opening salvo. There's my quantums. Take the her out. Domino for more haste, weapon damage. There she goes, next group. Opening salvo coming up in 20 seconds, so we could probably use it on the last group. The photons from their raft. Love that visual. We'll use surgical strikes on this last one. Sometimes I do like the slow down visual. It's because that's kind of what they did on screen. We're gonna save our bucks here for the last group. I'm taking you with me. Let's bring us about. Well, hello, sir. Opening salvo. Woo. Love that console. Bye, shields. There 
we go. Next to left. Let's get our beam overload damage going here. Next last cruiser here, I think. Nothing like taking out an NPC with phasers and torps. Looks good. One second, Mr. Benton, sir. Thank you for your assistance. While we give our final thoughts on this. We'll park it over here so we can take a good old shelfie, which is a ship selfie. Alright, let's give her there you go Woo! all right so there she is that's the build that's what we'll be using tonight here on the bridge here in our nightly pew pews on twitch again captains i'm not the ship best ship builder i do these type of builds for fun something that's to show that you can put something together as long as there's some synergies working with traits weapons consoles that it can do well in elite content uh, it won't be your best parsing ship your top DPS ship, but that's not the point of it. These builds are just meant for fun, just to go through the content casually, and again, get your head cannon on. So there she is, the Intel Assault Cruiser. Highly recommended. If you can get your hands on it, it's a fun ship to use. It's the Sovereign. Who doesn't like the Sovereign? Especially when she's looking that pretty. So we'll call their caps. Permission to disembark, sir. Granted. 